Um, I may have done it again. I've restarted my hard mode island to restart my hard mode island. Yep. Long story short, I feel like I rushed through the last one, so I wasn't happy with how it was and what I'd done, and so I restarted. Now, question is, does that count as a reroll? Like, are you guys gonna let me off and let me only get one villager photo, or do I have to get both? You're gonna have to let me know, but anyway, we're restarting my island. Yep, 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 yes we are. Anyway, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, everyone. Here we are with Timmy and Tommy, and like I said, I restarted my hardcore mode island so I could do another one, because I was, wasn't happy with how quick I went through it and everything like that, so here we are at the airport, ready to start our new adventure. We're gonna skip through some of the boring parts I've already shown you, like last week, so let's choose a map. Not that one, not that one, not that one. Let's go for this one up here, top left, we like that one. I think that's the best choice out of all four that were there, but now let's have a look, see what map we got. Fruit is apples, okay, okay, love that, love that. I had oranges last time on my island, Firefly, so let's just see what our villages are and the colour of my airport's gonna be. Plucky again, oh okay, 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 we can handle that, and we got sweet little bam, so that's good, I'm happy with those. And I have the orange airport. I love the orange airport. The orange, the yellow, and the green are my favorite. So all of them except the blue. <laughs> so this is going great so far. Now I need to go and see Tom Nook and gather the sticks and fruit that he's gonna want me to get. And then we get to decide the island name. Not me totally forgetting about the part where I have to pop my house down and place the villager houses down. Now as of hard mode rules, which I'll pop on the screen right now, we have to actually put the villager houses where they are standing, so they have to choose where their house goes, and I can see that Bam's is quite close to the airport, so thanks for that, Bam. I guess that's what I get for restarting my hardcore mode island, but oh well, okay, it's fine. So I found a place next to the beach would be quite nice for my house to go, wow, my tent for now. So we're just gonna pop down my tent, and then we gotta go and do Plucky's and Bam's house. I really do hope Bam's moved, but I have this horrible feeling that he's not, so it looks like he's gonna be living near the airport. Yay. <laughs> We now need to place a Plucky's house down, and I'm hoping that by placing Plucky's house down, Bam might decide to move away from her a little bit, because he's literally right in front of her house. Like, why? Why so close? <laughs> I mean, at least Plucky chose somewhere quite decent. It's near resident services, yes, but at least it's not going to be in the way. Bam's house is pretty much where I would have probably put Nook's cranny, just for easy access, so yeah, thanks Bam for choosing right next to the airport. You know what? I don't think I've ever had Bam before. He's actually kind of cute. I love his colours and his little horns. He's quite an adorable little villager. I can't believe I've never had him before. I think I've had Bruce before, which is one that's similar because he's a blue goat or blue deer. Is he a goat or a deer? I honestly can't remember, but oh well. Anyway, let's go and get our fruit and sticks for Tom Nook, and then we can do the good part, which is name the island. Now, let me just quickly explain what I've done about naming for the island. I didn't want to sit there and go through a random name generator for like 20 minutes before I found a name that was actually suitable or ended up with Firefly again, which I didn't want. So I used my good old brain and tried to think of one random word, and the first word I thought of would be the name of this island, and it was interesting. So yeah, wait and see that. So here we are at naming island time and the name that we're going for for this island is... Yep, we're naming it Spud. Spud. You know, like the potato, Spud. So, welcome to Spud everyone. So now that that's done and we've given our island a random name, we can go to bed. Let's go, let's go to bed. Time to start a new day. But wait a second, what the? There's a tarantula? Are you kidding me? I would not want to be camping out here with that tarantula outside my tent. Mm -mm, no siree, I'm getting back on a plane and I'm leaving, bye! So now that we had our nap and it lasted till the next day of course, we've already spoken to Tom Nook, we all know he goes on quite a lot, but we've got some mail. We have the mail from lovely Nintendo, and we also have a lovely Happy Home Paradise picture which I will be doing in this playthrough. Right, so we need to go and see Tom Nook because we're gonna have to do some making, I guess, of like DIYs and stuff. I think it's the fishing rod first, so yeah, let's go get that started. So yeah, we're gonna need to grab some sticks and I wanna pick up all these weeds eventually, but let's see if we can find some of my villagers. Well, I only have two right now, so let's try and find Bam and Plucky and say hello to them and see how they're doing. So Bam was hiding behind this tree. Yo, I'm pumped about that spot you helped me pick out for my tent. Thanks for the push. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like that. It's good to have buddies, Kablang. All right, I've got something here for you, Kablang. Thanks again for helping me find my place. Oh, and he's given me a hat. Outdoor hat, okay. Hmm, I wonder what colour this is. Bab, I question your taste, because you know blue and green should not be seen unless there's something in between, and you are blue and you are wearing green. Right, let's see if this hat is cute and if it matches my clothes, because I bet you it doesn't. Never normally does. Right, here we go. It matches the airport and Plucky's tent, I guess. But yeah, thanks for that, Bam. Thanks. Plucky's over the other side of the island, so let's speak to her. 
Melissa, thanks a ton for earlier. I got my tent all up and running thanks to that pep talk. Thinking about how to thank you and I come up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella, which is amazing by the way. Please never mock the leaf umbrella recipe though, everyone, because this is great early game, especially if you're just starting hard mode. So as you know, one of the hard mode rules is that you can only sell items that you have crafted to the nooklings. So that means what I'm gonna do is pick all my weeds and I'm gonna make some leaf umbrellas and I'm gonna sell them for a very, very small profit, but at least it's bells. Also, don't forget to put ACNH hard mode on your notice board so people can check your notice board to see that you're a hard mode player. So let's do some fishing so that we can donate these fish to Tom Nook to give the Blavers because we need to give Blavers Museum next. That's the next thing we have to do. So we're going to do a quick little montage of me catching some random fish from the ocean and the river and then we can place Blavers tent. So I need to decide where I want to put Blavers and I think I'm going to put him here right in front of the beach because why not, you know, I feel like he'd appreciate a nice beach view from the museum. I was clearly so happy with this spot, I didn't even bother imagining what it would look like. I was just like, yep, it's going to go there, it will work. Now remember what I said about the leaf umbrella recipe earlier? Well, let's go around and collect all these weeds. So now that I've picked up all the weeds that are over this first side of the island, because obviously we can't get over the river yet, we need the vaulting pole, let's go and make some leaf umbrellas. I only made a total of six umbrellas for now, but you should be able to make more than that, and like I said, they, they do sell for a small amount of bells. So let's hand over the six umbrellas, and we get 1,800 bells, which is enough for me to buy a slingshot, so yeah, that's perfect. It's enough to get me going and get the little few bits that I want. Now that we've got those bits that we need, like the slingshot and that, I can work on getting those 5,000 nook miles, which I've done, and now we can finally pay Tom Nook and we can finally get a house, which means one glorious thing that is probably my main drive to get myself a house and a bigger house, and that is storage. But yeah, that was my first day. We got our new house ready. We got Blavers is going to be here tomorrow. And yeah, that was my first day on my new island spud. Like I said, we started hardcore mode start again so let's try it again this time even though the rules state that we can time travel seven days ahead i'm going to change that rule ever so slightly for myself and only time travel at least one i can go back to the same day but only time travel one day ahead because i feel like that's where i went wrong last time i went too far ahead all the time and yeah it just didn't work out so let's start again now if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe come and join the jellybean family have a lovely day my friends and i'll see you in my next video goodbye